Hi, I'm Bill Liberis from IDG, and I'm joined today by Iron Hutchinson, who's a product manager at Intersystems. And we are here to talk about big data, and specifically how Intersystems can help you cope with it. Iron, thank you very much for joining me today. Hello. So, big data. You hear a lot about big data these days. Uh, what yes. is big data, and why should IT people care about it? Big data is defined in a number, number of ways. Uh, industry hasn't put a, one definition on it as of yet. We see it as unstructured data, uh, things in PDFs, uh, Word files, images, audios, as well as the large and increasing amount of data that organizations are trying to handle. And people care about it these days because it's seen as an untapped resource for business value. If you can look at all the data in your organization, you make and predict or forecast where your business is going. Also, upon seeing that, they're realizing that their current infrastructure can act, their current infrastructure can actually handle big data. So they're trying to figure out technology solutions uh, to handle big data. Mm -hmm. I'm smelling a bit of uh, social media personality around big data, too. <laughs> is that correct? Well, that's, that's an interesting question, actually. Um, definitely uh, things like Facebook and Twitter um, have technology that they've actually launched out into open source to help deal with big data. Mm -hmm. They definitely are, are some of the definitely big companies that are pushing uh, some of the technology boundaries to handle big data. Mm -hmm. But big data has been around for a long time. Uh, they're just making a different use of it. Mm -hmm. Right. So what are some of the options that companies, users have, IT people have to, uh, to deal with big data? Today, we see people uh, do two things, uh, two core things. They abandon their current data approaches and rewrite their data system from scratch. And secondly, we see them try to adopt a NoSQL solution. Uh, one of the 122 offers on uh, the NoSQL Dash database site. So that uh, is basically in rebellion to current data management systems, which are seen as not having the ability to scale and handle this new type of data coming through. Those don't sound like necessarily great ideas. <laughs> well, if you're a database company, writing a database is a great idea. <laughs> so definitely that's something we do. Um, but if you're a business, uh, you're a core um, business proposition is to focus on writing business software. So that means if you rewrite your data system, you're actually now working on your infrastructure and your business at the same time. So instead of living in your house, you're building the walls, working on the plumbing, uh, and that takes you away from your core, your, your focus. Now, you can do this successfully, and some have done it, but that's generally like an 80-20 rule. Um, everyone doesn't need to do that. So one of the key things to realize which is core to your business, what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other option of using a NoSQL solution is not a bad one. It goes down to choosing the right use case for the NoSQL solution because you don't get things like transactions and ad hoc querying. So if you need to do things like banking-oriented uh, business processes, you don't, don't want to use a NoSQL solution for that. Now, in my introduction, I promised our listeners and viewers that they would uh, hear about an inner systems approach to uh, helping them cope with big data. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what is inner systems bringing to the table here with this? So for us, big data is not new. Uh, we, we've been around for 30 plus years, and our core technology has evolved over the time to handle complex scenarios, big data scenarios, high transaction, high volume scenarios, event data scenarios. At the core of that technology is a flexible data structure. That data structure allows you to store data in one format and look at it in other formats. So one of the precepts of NoSQL is it's non-relational. And you can look at it in ideas like key value or document. Well, there's nothing wrong with relational. It's just the perception that it's inflexible. Well, relational is just a view on regular data. So we give you a relational view, so you can query via SQL. We give you a document view, a NoSQL approach, and a key value view, another NoSQL approach. But we don't stop there. You can actually look at your data at any view you feel like building yourself mm. or what we provide. <laughs> so that, that's, that's one core aspect. The second thing we give you is something called Enterprise Cache Protocol. It allows you to hook up all your databases on different servers to, one, to look like one logical database and then do distributed SQL queries over that data. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you say, okay, an assistant's been at it for 30 years doing big data. I mean, do you have, give us an example of customers that you, you work with that, in fact, are handling big data? Absolutely. Um, we work with an um, organization called the European Space Agency. They're doing a 3D model of the universe called the, the Gaia Project, and they're pulling in terabytes of data. And today we can store that in about 130,000 complex objects per second. Traditionally, it took them about five to seven days to store all the data they needed to store. 
After a year of working together and getting the project set up, we reduced the time down to five to seven hours, and we're only limited by hardware speed. So we are able to do that approach because we've evolved a current data system, uh, cache in this case, to handle this sort of scenario. So we like to say that every release of a new software system is faster. And uh, we've been able to prove that over our release history. Any final thoughts, Iron, on intersystems and big data? Just that we've been handling big data for years. Uh, the problems in the industry that are considered big data today, uh, we consider something else yesterday. And we've been working with those problems for the last 20, 30 years. Mm. Uh, as of today, as an example, 13% of all equity trades, financial equity trades, go through intersystems technology because we've been able to produce a results from uh, implementing and handle big, big data. Excellent. Well, Iron Hutchinson from Intersystems, thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you. And I'm Bill LaBarris from IDG, saying thank you very much for joining us as well.